A 16-year-old high school student was among four males killed by the police during an early morning an alleged early morning confrontation in Windsor Heights Central Village, St. Catherine. As you'll hear in this report from Anthony Lugg, the police also recovered three illegal firearms. And wherever you are, we'll be coming at you. We need to make the communities safe for people. Head of the Area 5 Police, Assistant Commissioner Gary Griffiths, sending a warning to criminals wreaking havoc in Windsor Heights and surrounding communities near Central Village in St. Catherine. It comes hours after four gunmen were killed by the police in the wee hours of Wednesday morning. I'm currently making my way to the location where four gunmen were shot and killed by the security forces during an early morning operation. Now just behind me, is that house where the gunmen were. The police tell us they were on their operation when the gunmen fired on them. The entire space here is out there. We've been frequently engaged each other and engaged the security forces. Unfortunately, during this morning engagement, four were shot fatally. Um, I'm imploring persons from the community to desist from harboring criminals. The deceased men have been identified as 16-year-old DeAndre Chana, 21-year-old Ramaria Brewster, 24-year-old Patrick Brown, and 22-year-old Nigel Adams. Brown is from the Zambia community in Central Village, while Chana and Brewster are said to be from East Kingston and are members of the Burger Gully gang operating in that police division. Adams was wanted for murder in the Kingston Central area. The police say three guns were recovered. When our news team visited the area, Indicom investigators were combing the scene. We can confirm that there are some recovered weapons. Um, that's about as much as we are willing to say at this time. We do invite, of course, the public and anybody with information to just reach out to us and to, um, to, con to contact Indicom at one of our numbers and supply that information for us. We sought reactions from residents, but they were tight-lipped. Those who spoke with us explained that talking to the media could spell danger. The police also made another revelation. People might not be aware, but persons from these communities who want to get basic items from delivered units, such as the bread trucks, juice trucks, have to go on to the central village main road to do business. Extortion and all the criminal activities taking place make this place a feared place. We don't want communities where people fear. It impacts business, it impacts way of life, and we are trying to fix this. Wednesday Heights has been on the police's radar since the killing of a female truck driver last month. Leona Kimmy Salmon, an employee of Grace Kennedy, was shot and her throat slashed. Recently, 31-year-old Saddam Morgan, a welder of Wednesday Heights, was charged with murder illegal possession of a firearm, and robbery with aggravation in relation to Ms. Salmon's killing. Anthony Lugg, TVJ News.